It's true, not every camper is created equal, but I do think the minivan is the best type of camper to have. At least for me. <laughs> There's a different, wow, this one came out. All right, thank you. There's a plethora of different types of models to use as your camper. I by no means am an expert in what to use for what type of situation. I just know the van I have, I freaking love it. <laughs> I think it's a great starting out camper van for van life. I think most people should just have minivans for camper vans, especially if you're minimalist. This is gonna be your guy. I'm not going to talk about too much of the negatives. I have my feet on the ground and my head's out of the sky. I know it's not the best for everybody. I mean, can you fit a family of eight in that? You could, but it's not gonna be so much fun, you know? So without further ado, let me talk about why a minivan is actually my favorite type of camper and why I think more people should have it. Uh, I'm, yeah, let's go. <laughs> the first reason is, well, I said it once, I said it twice. I said it so many times on this gosh darn channel and I apologize to my subscribers and if you're not subscribed, um, stick around. I love to have you here, honestly, stick with me. But my favorite reason and the main reason why I chose a minivan as my camper of choice is because of the stealth. I understand the danger of traveling alone as a woman, but not scared of that danger to the point where I'm just, you know, locking myself up at home. Or, you know, just not putting myself out there. Well, I'm gonna fix this. Okay. Center. No one is going to know that your car is a camper unless you have a door open or you tell them, hey, I'm traveling in my van. You wanna see it? But that's kind of the fun part of having this twist of being like, yeah, I'm traveling alone in my van but it turned into a camper. You wanna see it? So when you're driving about on the road or in the small towns, people are not gonna think, um, what's the camper doing here? They're gonna be like, it's a normal car. And if they, if they see a different license plate, they're gonna be like, they're probably here for her family or friends. They're just visiting, I guess, maybe vacation. So that's a little nice thing to have. You don't have to worry about those Karens in the neighborhood like coming up to your camper van and going, you're not allowed here. And they get so scared for no reason. I'm not here for you, man. I'm just trying to get free parking in your neighborhood. Speaking of parking in your neighborhood, I can easily, easily, without getting the cops called on me, <laughs> uh, park in a campus or like a college town's neighborhood residential area. Did that all make sense? Because if you pull up between two houses, one house is going to think you're there for the other house and that house thinks you're there for the other house. Like when I was in college, I didn't know the cars on my street. Anyone could be living in their van, I wouldn't know it. Unless, of course, the two houses know each other and they talk. Then you get to go. But the point is, having a minivan as your camper of choice is amazing because no one really knows and you feel like a little spy. You're like, hee hee. No one knows on this Rocky Mountain Trail that I could just pull over and sleep here for the night if I wanted to. Also, the gas mileage is... <laughs> The gas mileage on this baby is compared to diesel gugglers, jugglers, can't juggle gas. Gas jug, just, they take up of a lot of gas, okay? <laughs> Minivans run on the cheapest gas available. I don't know what that's called, not diesel, I forget. That means right off the bat, I'm saving a lot more money than I initially would if I had a diesel camper van. Now I understand that not all the bigger vans run on diesel, but um, I don't know, safer bet with this. <laughs> but I don't know, I have some people in the comments in my previous video being like, yeah, and another thing about minivans is that they don't run on diesel. I'm like, never thought of that before, but that's a great reason to have a minivan as your camper, especially at the price that gases are at. Um, I can't even go on a trip right now or like a out of state trip right now anywhere because the gas is just too much and it looks like it's gonna get worse before it gets better so i can't even imagine how much a trip would cost or van lifing would cost if i had to have a diesel van plus i do get a good you know gas mileage as i said before out of this baby no complaints before 2020 it was like a 30 40 dollar gas fill up but now it's like 50 60 so help me god but yeah Low gas, baby. I already paid a lot of money at gift shops during my travel, so um, money on gas makes me so sad. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can't hear the wind because I need to talk about the size of my minivan. But hey guys, you do not understand the importance of having a smaller car for going through drive throughs or when you come against those random small bridges with that show you like the weight limit and you're like, I don't have to worry about this because I'm living in a minivan. 
I can't handle that much weight to begin with. Maybe you could, but um, in my case, I'm fine. Or whether it be like tight, weird tunnels, or going through a red cedar, the redwood forest trees. I don't think you can fit a camper through there. And if you can, maybe it's a smaller camper too. <laughs> but that being said, I am not limited to where I can go in terms of travel based on my camper size, you know? Anywhere is free range because this is a normal size of a normal car. It's just, I put a bed in it. That's the only thing that changed. And I joke about it a lot because like, it's something that I didn't think about when picking a camper van, but it's something that has helped me throughout my travels. Because when it's late at night, you're hungry, you're not presentable, you're probably really, really dirty, and you don't want to like walk or use any energy, you're gonna wanna go through the drive through <laughs> The size of a minivan is also a great reason to use it as a camper. Come on now, am I convincing you? <laughs> this is another thing that I didn't really consider when I, of course, again, chose the minivan as my camper, but I could still use it as a normal car, like, for all the intended purposes that a car has, a normal one, um, when I'm not camping in it. And I know that may sound strange, but if you get a bigger camper van, you can use it for like the normal stuff, but I don't know. It has an intended purpose, especially if you get an RV, like you can't take an RV to go and do Walmart shopping, you know? I and mean, you can't, you can't, but it's gonna be a pain in the neck. And I understand that like the back of the van is gonna be not normal and you can't fit as many people as you could. Actually you might be able to fit more because there's no seats. It's just like an open space. I'll test that out and get back to you. But at least in my experience, cause I can't speak for everyone again, I know. I don't want anybody coming out being like, you can do that with other camper vans. I know. And if I really wanted to, if I said, that's it, no more van life. I can take everything out and put back the seats and voila, normal car. There would just be a few extra holes in the wall for where the screws used to be. Ugh, hold up my shelves, so. Not all the way normal. But yeah, it's like a transformer. It can turn into a camping van. It can turn back down to a normal car. I love it. But for me, there's two uses for my car and I love that it's normal and it's camping. In case I lose my house in the fire, I can live with it. Or in case I can keep my house, I can just use it as a car and just have all this space for, you know, shoving my Goodwill things in it. Which I spent too much money on Goodwill last month, so that's not gonna be happening anytime soon. But yeah, minivan's great because if you decide to stop camping, you still have a normal car, baby. This point is kind of piggybacking off the stealth aspect, the first point I brought up, but people leave you alone. And I love that about having a minivan as a camper. I know this many times in the other trips that we as a family have taken with bigger vans, you can kind of get more eyes on you or people ask you like, hey, where are you coming from? And they, you know, think, <laughs> think that they're available for your whole travel story when really you're just there to get gas. So yeah, maybe this is like just a half point because it's not really a full point because it's kind of going off again off of the first point, but I just have to reiterate how nice it is for people to leave you alone. And you can just blend in anywhere until they recognize your license plate. Then you're like, oh, you're out of town? Where are you coming from? Especially in like those smaller towns where people are a lot nicer and a lot more open. I don't know, more talkative. <laughs> Iowa. You can take this a step further by tinting your windows. That way, even if the sun hits your van, no one can see inside. No one can look in and be like, is that a table? Is that a bed? <gasps> is there a homeless person? Guys, we have to yeah. stop this like homeless talk when we talk about van lifers because homeless people don't have a home and a van, I would argue, is like a home. Like you have a bed, you have shelter, you have food. Most of us, most most people who are doing van life either have like a remote job or they're living way below their means but they still have money you know so i don't think this argument of you know van life equals homeless like you don't have a legitimate home like a home home but a van is a home they're sleeping inside of shelter and they're not sleeping on the bench you know <sighs> people also this is true of any camper but especially with mini campers or any small van that you use for camping it is the ultimate Tetris game because you don't have a lot of room to begin with. It's not just like this huge camper where you're like, uh, yes, we can have a kitchen here and a bathroom here and a dining hall here and a pool here. Wait, well, let's at least 
it seems like that with those <laughs> school buses but for me and like i said other campers can feel this too but i feel like it just requires more brain power therefore you feel more accomplished when you find a layout that works for you after watching so many camper van tutorials or like um walkthroughs on <laughs> walkthroughs tours tours on youtube and piecing together different people's uh, layouts all together made me feel so cool. I was like, oh my gosh. I just made my own type of minivan. It's not original. It's just, you know, things that worked out for me. And by no means is it a, ah! And by no means is it original inside my van. You guys seen it. It's like, you know, there's 20 other vans like that out there. 20 hundred other vans like that out there. As a new camper, someone who's never really thought much about this before and I don't know, does it have like a booklet to come with van life? I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know if you can even hear me. I'm gonna turn the thing the other way. Is this like a movie? Anyways. But I think that's honestly not just like a minivan camper feeling. I think that's the feeling overall of just building a van and being proud of it especially when your first time when you have no idea what you're doing anyways guys that is like it <laughs> that's my comprehensive list of look at this car go by interrupting my shot Jeez. that's a short list because there's honestly more but they're not like that big of a deal and if anything it's just going to be bouncing off the other points so it's going to just be me running in circles who wants to watch a video like that in 2021 not me so if you're new to camping and you're considering getting a minivan i hope this helped you uh, get one or just make a decision yes or no it's fine i don't believe in any superiority when it comes to like types of minivan campers or like the vehicles that you choose this is just my favorite for my needs and I think minivan campers are the perfect if you're starting out, you're very non-committal to the idea of van life, and you're a minimalist. Plain and simple. At least that's the things I can only really think of right now. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I post a new video every week, I promise. I had a few hiccups, but that's because life is kind of back to normal. So with all the restrictions kind of loosening and life getting back to normal, I was just kind of like, uh, I'm gonna see my family and friends. So I took a little break. I'm back now. And I can't wait to bring you on my adventures with Appa or without her. Because the world is kind of opening up, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And, uh, I don't know. Have fun. Bye. Okay. Baby. La, da, da. All right, it's all done.